my name is Majid Dana. Um, go by the name as Jido's Reality. And um, I go into poetry to um, basically save myself and help others. So my type of writing is basically trying to bring every word out. Um, I believe every word's an emotion and, and, and I try and use my experiences in life to try and, to try and make people understand that, that, um, that every line that you read in my poetry, every word that you read, it's an emotion mixed with another one. So if you don't understand it, then I don't understand it, someone else doesn't understand it. Um, I think my style is quite unique because I'm raw, I say, I tell it as it is. Um, I try and make people see the world from a different point of view, um, understanding that um, everything that happens has a reason and, and every reason has a choice. So um, I suppose I write to inspire other people to make them understand that poetry is for everyone and words are for everyone and um, yeah. I think, I think being nominated for Portsmouth Guild Awards, where I came second, um, that was probably the highlight of my career. But if I take it back, I'll probably say um, the first time when I, when I heard about trash art. So that's the very first time I actually stood up and read my poetry to everyone. And ever since then, it's just given me more and more confidence to understand that people need to hear it, people want to hear it. and. Uh, so I suppose a highlight I could say would be my journey from when I first started Open Your Mouth and to where it's taken me to. It's been quite amazing, yeah. Silence. When I'm speaking and I'm reading and I can't hear anything but my heart beating and my words are talking to me and there's silence in the room, that's probably the best response I could get from an audience, because at that exact moment, nothing else matters but what I'm saying and what they feel in. And for me, that is probably the best feeling that I, that, that I could get from, from my poetry. And after that, I get people, I've inspired a lot of people, changed a few people's eyes, but for me, the silence when I'm reading is probably the best achievement, because it makes me understand that people are listening and taking it in and understanding that what I'm reading is for them and not only for me, yeah. I suppose... I suppose life, I suppose... Just keep writing, it's very important to me. As long as I'm writing, I'm safe. As long as I'm reading, I'm safe. As long as I can change one person's life, I'm happy. Um, I think just being honest, with myself and trying to be there for someone when they need someone and using my poetry not for myself but for others um, is quite important to me um, making people understand that everyone's a poet you just have to find it in you we're not the same so it doesn't matter what you're going through what someone else is going through Life only puts you through those things because you're strong enough to handle it. Um, so for me, I think life's important and being able to look in the mirror at myself and being honest and say, at least I've, I've done the right thing today. Chiro's reality. It's madness, I tell you, the world I live in. My mind never sleeps. It's racing constantly. If I could take out all the pain from inside me and hang it on a washing line. I'm afraid for the whole world to see. I'm afraid many people were not able to handle what they see. Tell me, do you read my poetry? And ask yourself why it's so deep. Do you see the tears falling from the words as they speak? I try to understand sadness as it attaches itself to me. Why love finds it hard to come and cuddle me? I guess that's how we're supposed to be. I guess I go. I guess I got to go back to a few days. I see. 
spending hours walking on the street with nowhere to go, contemplating suicide, cold, all on my own. Anger building and fuming, rage setting on my face, consuming and looming. Reality could it be? It's left me life's wanted on miseries. Suicide calling from any corner, stalking and calling. Time's gone, it's run away. It's got no time to watch me fade away. My how time flies, and you got no where to go. Is it night or day? And some days I feel anxious, confused, and powerless, with no smiles but tears full of sadness. They're laughing and blaming me, but they don't understand this. You would expect a caterpillar to turn into a butterfly, but how strange does the world come the moment you cry? Not every smile is a twinkle in your eye, and not every butterfly deserves to fly. <laughs>